Today, in our world, more than 32 million children with disabilities are excluded from education. This is, of course, a serious problem, but solvable. I am Ya'da Versh Negusi, an Ethiopian disability rights activist working for an international NGO, Light for the World. Ninety percent of children with disabilities in developing countries do not go to school. This is a serious violation of human rights. Education is a base to make somebody's future bright and better. Being born in a rural part of Ethiopia, I got blind when I was five. The community in my village told my mom that I was going to continue to become a burden to her. The fate of a girl born in that village in that period of time was to be married as early as possible between the age of 10 and 12. My mom, who is my life change maker, decided to give me another path, education. That education is the lottery I want in life and made me who I am today. The biggest challenge we face is mainly attitude. So many people think that it's not worth to invest in a child with a disability. In a situation where poverty is a reality, children with disabilities are the last ones to be sent to school. Because families send only those whom they think will be productive, this has to change. I have seen in Burkina Faso, where the Burkina government has chosen to invest in inclusive education, they have made a clear progress. The number of students with disabilities in school have significantly increased. This also brings other benefits. So many girls were left at home taking care of their siblings with disabilities. The fact that we open up inclusive education for those children with disabilities also opens up another opportunity for those girls left behind to come to school and make use of their potential. Everybody, starting from family to governments, should be ready to invest in children with disabilities as we have only one disability over 99 abilities. I imagine a world where education is no more a privilege only for few, but also a right for everybody. <laughs>